Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you an overview of the tab post module. So the extra tab post module is unique to the extra theme and can be found in your admin under extra category builder. To get to the tab post module, we need to create a new layout or open an existing one. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and open up one that I've created already that has the tab post module in it. So for me, the tab post module, I placed two of them here, but really I only need one. I placed two so you could see the differences in a full width tab post module and a tab post module that shares a row with another um, module. Uh, I'll show that to you on the front end so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So here's the front end of my site. Uh, this is the my homepage layout. And when I scroll down, I have two tab post modules present, one here sharing a row with another element, and, or another module rather, and one here that goes all the way across. And the main difference in styling is that the one that doesn't have room to display all the different uh, tabs simply has these arrows up here and you kind of have to go through the tabs on your own um, using these arrows, using these navigation arrows. But down here you have the tabs visible and it's just a matter of jumping to the next tab that way. Okay, so now let's go back to the back end and I can kind of show you what's possible um, with the various settings um, for the tab post module. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just click on this kind of hamburger icon in my tab post module and open up the settings. So each tab post module is gonna come with three settings tabs, general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. So first, let's cover general settings. So right here at the top, you have your tabs. So you can add new tabs, or I've already added four tabs, or sorry, five tabs right here. And these are just some of my primary categories. To add one, it's really simple. When you add a tab, you get a category, drop down here, you choose what you want, and you can also choose to display featured posts only. I don't actually want another tab here, so I'm just gonna leave the five that I've already created. So below that, you can set your post limit. I decided that each tab should only display four posts, and I can choose to show thumbnails or not, show author or not, show category or not, show comments or not, show my rating or not, show the date or not, um, and these are all pretty standard for most of the modules that display posts. So also I can change my date format, I can create a new admin label, you can also create a CSS ID or CSS class, which are great for adding custom styles within the ePanel CSS or within your child themes style.css file. All right, let's jump to advanced design settings. All right, in advanced design settings, I can set a maximum width, which is nice if I don't want um, to use the full width available to me. So right now I have 950 pixels available to me, but I could set it at 800 and I could view the change here. So this actually limits my full width. So it was going all the way across and now it's just 800 to my 950. Take that back to the default there. I can also change the active tab text color, which is kind of cool because it's right now it's taking its color cue from whatever I have that category color set to. So I could change it here to something completely different. And you can see now that's taking on purple as opposed to uh, matching that orange, which was uh, what the category color is. I can also change the active tab background color. inactive tab background color, the tab font, tab font size, tab text color, tab letter spacing, tab line height, um, and then the same applies for some other items here. So we have our main title and our main meta and our main body fonts, um, as well as our list fonts are all gonna be um, 
highly adjustable, highly stylized if you so choose because each of them comes with a size, color, spacing, line height um, adjustments that are just a click of a button, no CSS required. All right, now down here towards the bottom, after we get out of our um, typography uh, tools, we have background color, and this is the total background, so I can change that real quick. So this is a total background color I can change, which is a really great feature. I can add an image if I want an image background. I can use choose to use border or not and then adjust the styling of that border. Solid, border width, border color. I can also change the margin and padding by just adding the pixel number values to these um, text boxes right here for top, right, bottom, and left. And finally here, I can also choose the post format icon background color as well as uh, remove the drop shadow or add border radius. Add or adjust border radius rather. Okay, so those are the advanced design settings and as you can see, there's just a ton of stuff here for you to adjust and completely change the look and feel of, of this module without ever touching a line of code. However, if you do want to get into code, if you know CSS or you like to add uh, bits of CSS here and there, we have a custom CSS tab that allows you to add CSS just to this module. All right, so you can add CSS styling before the element to the main element, after the main element. You can also add CSS styling to very specific elements here. So uh, we've made it really simple for you to adjust the tab, tab item, tab item hover, the tab item active, the main post area, main post entry, main post title, main post meta, main post meta icons, which is your rating and comments. It really just goes on and on here, but this is the level of control that we want you to be able to have um, when you're adding your customization. So you can add to main post excerpt, main post overlay, as well as your main post overlay icon, as well as your post list area, your post list entry, and your post list title, as well as your post list meta, meta icon, post list thumbnail. So really, like I said, there's just so many places here for you to dive in and add CSS to exactly the element or item that you want to um, within the tab post module. When you're done with all three settings tabs, go ahead and just click save and exit. Make sure to update your post and enjoy the results on the front end. All right, well, that's all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the tab post module. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure that you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the view demo button. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.